Alrighty, what is going on guys? So, just pulled up to the gate and she's closed. 7.02 a.m. I thought this one opened at 7, but I guess it may be 7.30. So yeah, I'll be waiting here for a little bit. But today we are back at Lake Berryessa. Yes, Lake Berryessa. This lake, I think the last time we were here, the video title was love-hate relationship with this lake. And this is truly that for me. Over the past four or five years, this lake has been the one that seems to be hit or miss, hot, cold, the bite's on or it's not. There's really no in-between. And you know, I don't think that it's just coincidence. I think that is truly how this lake fishes. And mainly because I think for me personally, what I've noticed, what I've found is this is a very bait oriented lake. Oh, when the bite is on and you can catch these fish, they're chasing bait. They're chasing bait. You can catch them on top water. You can catch them on a multitude of baits. It just depends, I guess, on the time of year, the day, the area, the location, and the mood of the fish. When you get all those factors right, it's on. It's fantastic. Had probably some of the most epic days of fishing ever in California, maybe throughout the country, here at Lake Berryessa when they're feeding. I've even had days in December, January, where just because we're in a particular area where they're feeding on bait, it was just insane. On the other hand, if it's not happening, if they're not feeding on bait, if you're not in those right areas or you don't catch the fish on the right day or the right mood, it is just brutally tough and you're just trying to get a bite. So anyways, that's kind of why I personally think it's love, hate, hit or miss here for me. And a little fun fact, Bassmaster just released their 2023 best lakes or fisheries in the West. And this came in at number two, right behind Clear Lake. So uh, I don't know if I'd agree with that, but I will say on its days when it's on, yeah, it's up there. It's a great fishery. A lot of fun. Today, another day out here trying our luck. I feel like every time I come here, it's kind of like gambling, rolling the dice. If we hit it on the right day, fish the right area. Yeah, we'll get right in a hurry. But anyways, that is going to be the video today. Keeping it pretty simple. Got all my rods ready here. I think we got about seven or eight rods, a bunch of different baits. Kayak in the back. We've got the dolly here. Once we finally get in, hopefully they come a little early and open this gate we'll launch and spend a full day out on the water and see what happens lake berryessa the number two fishery in the west hopefully it lives up to that reputation today Here we go. Just before 8 a.m. out on the water. Last time we were here, as mentioned, with the love-hate relationship video, it was definitely a hate relationship that day. And we went that way, so hey, why not go this way? Actually, I don't think I've ever even gone this way, to be honest with you. But I'm not gonna try to make any crazy runs. Let's just start fishing. I already see some islands. The water looks like it's gone down a little bit since the last time I was here. So, I'm just gonna fish the moment, as they say. Throw what looks right in certain situations and just get a feel for the day. Actually, I have a little cloud cover this morning. Kind of surprising, didn't expect that, but I think we gotta go with top water to start. There's also, I don't know, a handful of launches on this lake that open really at all hours. You can pay in the after hours box or before hours box, but this particular launch I wanted to go to just because I wanted to fish this part of the lake. And it's the closest to the other side that eastern shoreline than any other launch, obviously kayak-wise. And there's a chance today we might cross over and take a gander. But like I said, we'll get started here and just go fishing. There's a fish below me. It's suspended though. Let's see what follows it down. You gonna follow the jig down? I 
that bait we were talking about loaded in this lake just loaded go almost anywhere in this lake look at your graph you're gonna find big old bait balls I don't think those are bass it's hard to say they don't look like bass they're too like long and skinny on the down imaging can't tell on the sonar but when I look at the down imaging now if they're like too long and skinny they're usually like carp or something Chasing out deep was what I'm guessing. Spots and smallmouth. Well, they fouled it down. I'm about to find out. Wow, I hope those aren't bass because if they are, well, they just fouled the drop shot down and didn't eat it. That is not a good sign. good sign even if the small ones are chasing it that's positive just gotta find the right areas I guess Well, just about uh, 10 o'clock and only one bite. One blow up, a miss, of course, on the Chapo. I do not think it's gonna be one of those epic days, for sure. This is rarely a place where it just changes throughout the day. Usually, what you start with is what you get, and you just gotta figure it out, but that's the plan right now. I don't know, I'm gonna try more main lake, maybe fish a little bit deeper, maybe a little bit slower, but I don't know, I'm also kind of confused because that topwater fish was shallow, like five foot of water, so I don't know, man. can take so many crappy trips to Berryessa per year and I feel like I've already met my quota like months ago. It's almost a better winter lake than it is summer and spring. That all said, I'm sure there is something that I'm not doing and I don't know, I'm, I'm not fishing around fish. Apparently, obviously. Look at all the little ones following around. Man. You think that like with a bunch of little ones behind this bait that would attract like a bigger fish. It's like a realistic A-rig. Look at this school, look at the swarm of fish behind this. How crazy is that? I'm surprised I haven't hooked into one. 
They're all just so competitive. Oh, golly. I feel like I should just go home. Come back another day. Sit up and notice some grass. I'll still never understand that. How they don't get a hook at them. Dang it. <laughs> some good looking grass here. There's got to be fish in it. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Ah, that was unfortunate not a fish story i promise you there's like a three four pounder right behind this thing oh yeah. well that's a good sign at least there's fish over here i just gotta figure out how to get them to bite dang it another one that one wasn't as big i mean i'm glad i found fish they're just not they're not eating it another one something's up they're not committing to this they're just following it baloney but i will say located the fish this pocket for sure shallow large mouth in the grass so might be a pattern we can replicate now just gotta figure out how to get them to bite i thought if i just kept working this bank i'd eventually get a dumb one to take a swing at it i mean we're gonna fish this area a few times because i know there's fish here we're really hoping to get on some topwater fish that little stretch right here a weightless worm here if i can't get bit on this in an area that i know has fish then i don't know what to do dang there's one right there they're here they're shallow why aren't you guys biting It's like the Chapo pulled them out of the cover and they were just following it and looking at it. And now that I can't get bit on a weightless worm, I mean, the little miniature bass are all over it, but the big ones, I guess, just aren't eating right now. That is such a shame. Oh my god. See, that ain't even good right there. Because we didn't even hook that fish in the... Oh, never mind, we did. I thought we snagged it. Wow. I guess we technically didn't get skunked. I thought we snagged that. It looked weird, but... In the mouth, guys. Number two fishery in the west. Producing giants. <sighs> god, it's been so tough. All right, well, right around this corner is that one spot, one area where I saw multiple fish all follow my chopo. I figured I'd give this one more chance, fish this point maybe a little deeper, a little swim bait, work my way into that one little section. 
I don't even know. It's my uh, Hail Mary right here. Just see if we can get any of these fish to go. The dream, the fantasy is that all those fish right there just with this wind kind of slid right over onto this point and they're schooled up. Like a nice group of 40, 50 of them, all three pounders. And we can just uh, go to town on them now. Hopefully it's dinner time soon for them. Yeah, screw it, I'm gonna throw a chop on, I don't care. Let's just see if uh, maybe they forgot about me. It's been a couple hours since they saw me in the boat. Maybe they're a little hungrier now. You can only hope. Ow, thank you for the hook and the finger. I'm gonna get up shallow though. Stay out of the deeper water. I'm gonna fish shallow. Or fish from a shallow position. See if that makes a difference at all. Might as well just get out and hop on the bank. Actually, no, that'd be silly because there are rattlesnakes here and I'd rather just not be walking around the bank. That's such bullcrap. I just saw like three largemouth swim by. What in the heck? I know they saw this bait. Oh my God, another one right there. That's not as big, but it's... Look, there's, I can see, oh my God, there's, there's the school of them right there. Wow, that's weird. There's like a pack of six or seven of them. I don't know, they're just following the boat. These fish are legit taunting me. They're right behind me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. There's like 25 pounds of largemouth right behind me. No, not 25. Maybe like 18. They're good ones. Right behind the boat. Well, I definitely put my bait in front of them. I don't know. I'd be able to see them again. They like know the boat's here and they can just sense it and they come swimming right at me. There they are. Yeah, they're just like on this like grass flat thing. What would it take for it to get you guys to bite? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna bite at all. There's no way. I don't think they're catchable right now. They were shallow though. See? So, unsuspecting. Dude, they're not even getting it. That's the trip. That is the trip. They're not even getting it. Like, I've been on Chapo fish before. They usually get the bait. They're not getting it today. This private fish just blew up on the bait right there. I don't know if I, like, startled it or what. They're just hitting out of reaction. Jeez, please. Not cool. Not cool. Finally. Golly, it took a long time. Got a net him. Thank you. No skunk. All righty. See, even that one, it took it all the way to the boat to finally decide it wanted to eat, which is not usually a good sign. That's one of the small ones, but man, that's seen a ton of largemouth. Just cruising around. Chapo saves the day. Okay guys, man oh man, tough day. Tough day out on Lake Berryessa. Apparently the number two fishery out west, which 
maybe not today but as i mentioned in the beginning of this video this lake has definitely been hit or miss for me over the past years i think it really just comes down to luck if you get here at the right time and they're munching on that bait you'll know pretty quick you'll see them busting everywhere and the bite can be wide open and it can be phenomenal and as i said on the other side of that if they're not chasing that bait if they're not feeding up it can be extremely tough and unfortunately that is what we had today found out pretty quick they weren't really chasing bait started out with a top water you know i threw a lot of stuff today i fished probably anywhere from 40 feet all the way to one foot with every single bait plus more top water jigs crankbaits jerk baits small swim baits drop shots even threw a carolina rig in there did get a bite on the chopo in about five foot on a main lake point but really not much after that i think the only time i really got excited today was when we went into a cove stood up had some really healthy grass right after that I actually had a blow up on the chopo second good solid bite of the day missed it again of course man i tell you what sometimes when they eat the top water it feels like they're hitting it with their mouth sealed shut and they're just like headbutting it i know that sounds crazy but i actually do think sometimes that happens when they're a little bit more finicky and maybe you're just getting a fish to react and hit the top water i really don't think they actually try to eat it i think they just try to headbutt it but anyways second bite of the day missed it thought maybe it was a good sign finally getting around an area that looked like it might have some life and uh it did just the unfortunate part was these fish were not committing i was getting follower after follower after follower on the chapo super frustrating i mean i changed colors i changed sizes i threw different top waters i slowed down through a popper through a walking bait tried every single bait in that specific area too even a weightless worm but those fish just were not interested that was disappointing kind of confirmed my suspicions that these fish were not in a feeding active mood today had all those fish bit had we had those fish that were following the chapo bite it would have been a phenomenal day i would have been like yeah this is the number two fishery out west it's just not what happened i was definitely stubborn today stayed out way longer than i should have did trick one to finally eat the chapo so i guess we didn't get like a true skunk that was pretty much it guys super tough day on lake berryessa this place is where we're gonna have our toc for yakabass so i mean i guess let's just get all the bad luck the tough fishing out of the way here now and then for the toc in the fall we'll take our epic day of fishing here guys that was a brutal one that being said next trip we're actually going to the number one apparently fishery in the west i'm sure a lot of you guys know what that body of water is so hopefully we have some solid days of fishing there but as always guys i thank you for watching for coming along and i will catch you guys in the next video Thank you.